Hello again, fellow patriots. In my last video, I did a talk about the importance of keeping your word, keeping an oath. And I used the presidential oath as an example. I took the oath on camera. That was only a dry run. In 2012, I will run for that office and I will win and in 2013 I will take the oath in earnest in Washington DC go ahead and laugh it's gonna happen my party will be called the party of discontent primarily composed of independents conservatives also, large numbers of discontented Democrats and Republicans will be in the party. Finances. Well, we use the Internet. Instead of spending millions of dollars on TV, radio, newspaper ads. Now, Obama had his catchphrase open change. My phrase will be faith and redemption. It may sound too spiritual for some of you, but faith is another word for trust. The people need to be able to trust politicians again. It's so essential. It's like you take a coupon to the grocery store and it's worth, say, 50 cents off when you buy a certain item. Well, if you had no faith or trust in that coupon, you wouldn't bother clipping it out and handing it to the checkout clerk. What you're doing when you're trading in that coupon, another term is called redeeming, redeeming, redemption. You're getting back something that's, well, it's more or less owed to you because you took the time to put the coupon. You have to trust that the clerk is going to honor that. Okay, there we have the faith. We have redemption in giving the coupon and getting back your, your discount. Redemption in government. We need to take back our nation. Right now, we've got a gang of thieves out there who are not following the Constitution, even though they have vowed to defend and protect the Constitution. Obama is throwing our money out the window like crazy. This kind of thing will not happen when I become president. Over the next few weeks, I'll be continuing my series Letting the American people know what I plan on doing. Some of you will like it. Some of you will hate it. Remember the phrase. Faith and redemption. It's coming. God bless America.